a biblical perspective on life, culture and current events. This is 2020 on Vision. One of the aspects about multicultural Australia is that many of the new cultures that have come to our nation are also practicing Christians. And so we see churches springing up across Australia, representing a diverse range of ethnic, cultural and national groups. And it's my great pleasure today to be talking with a leader of one of these groups. And her name is Muan Louie. And she hails from Burma, but she now lives in Australia and is a leader in her Christian community. And Muan, I would like to welcome you to 2020 today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Juan, many of our listeners probably couldn't even point to Burma on a map. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us briefly why there are so many Burmese people living in Australia today? Yes. um, A lot of the Burmese communities who have resettled here in Australia um, came through um, humanitarian settlement program. And because of a lot of refugees uh, who has fled um, to India, and to Thailand and Malaysia, and then they've made their way here um, through the HSP program. And it is because of the, the political issues and also with the um, discriminations to marginalized communities, ethnic communities, such, such as ours as well, the Chin community as well. Yeah. So the Chin community, the Chin is a tribe or a people group from Burma? Yes, they are. And um, they're from the Chin state. So people who are from the Chin state in the Western Myanmar are called Chin people. So under that, we do have a lot of um, different um, tribes as well. Okay. And so the Chin people, mm-hmm. you they had to flee Burma. Why did they have to flee Burma? What was going on? Um, Ch- uh, Chin people had to flee Burma because of, as I said, um, because uh, the military junta who took over the, the government as well. And also because... Um, especially the Chin community, uh, the Chin people um, practice Christianity, and because of that, um, because of that, and we know um, if you look at Burma, um, the, um, the the religion that is practiced uh, majority is um, Buddhism, and in, if you look at Chin state, uh, majority is practicing Christianity. Okay, and so there was an element of persecution, although yes. it was military and political, there was also an element, a spiritual dimension to that, yes. and that the Christian minority uh, from your people group were being persecuted, and so they fled everywhere, but mm-hmm. many have uh, turned up in Australia. Now, now, you live in Brisbane. How many Burmese churches do you think there are in Brisbane that you're aware of? Mm-hmm. I won't be able to give the exact number of how many, but I can say as um, above 10, obviously, above 10, and a lot of the Chin, uh, Chin churches as well combining around um, 8 or 9 as well. So Burmese speaking is a lot wider. Yeah, yeah. So and so there's a, in our in Brisbane mm-hmm. alone, you've got more than ten yes. churches. Mm-hmm. Amazing. And tell us how the churches mm-hmm. are helping people integrate into Australian society. That's a very important um, aspect of integrating to the um, the Australian society. Um, I remember when I well, my family and I arrived here. Um, um, the first family or the first church who took us in was the Logan uh, Logan Uniting um, Logan Uniting Church. Um, in Baden Road in Ki- it's Kingston. Yes, yeah, so what they, they did was a lot of the part of because we can relate because we you know we have that um uh, the, uh, the faith background and yeah and in- introducing to obviously it was new everything was new but what kept us the same was the faith was same so in a way we could relate a lot so much and also if there were problems or yeah problems in the community as well there were times where we could um go to the church members and yeah and 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 get solutions and get yes. answers and mm-hmm. so the church the uniting church uh, which is obviously uh, originally from John Wesley the mm-hmm. uh, Methodist church many mm-hmm. many years ago the Uniting Church really helped welcome your community into yep. Australia and integrate mm-hmm. into Australian society. So churches can play a big role mm. in helping new people groups yes. find their home in Australia. Yes, absolutely. And I tro- I, I, I highly um, believe that it is really important. And yeah, especially if you're coming from the, um, the faith background, you know, Christi- Christianity and churches who are already established here. And then there are so many ways that churches can play a part in that uh, integration. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Into, yeah, into now, you're, you're a leader in your faith community, in your Christian community. Can mm-hmm. you tell me the sort of things that you're involved in as a Christian leader in, in mm-hmm. Australia? Yes. And in, in my church, I serve as a, one of the um, leader in our youth and also a Sunday school teacher. And yeah, and our our church, um, especially with the youth team, what we do is every second Saturday we have our youth service, 
and um well you know it coming here we have to um continue using or practice our la- our own mother tongue uh, language but at the same time with the younger ones who are growing up here so we try to do a lot of the service or hold the service in english as well and yeah and then also helping those younger ones who are brought up in a christian family but then also really putting that seed in them so um through various activities that we do in the commun- uh, in our church community and also youth fundraising that we do so just to gather youth together yeah and at the same time always always um sharing always sharing the good news to them always sharing that uh, why we do the things that we do Yeah, excellent. And are you involved in any evangelism as well? Are you trying to help people get saved? Because you've probably observed Australia is not a Christian country. Mm-hmm. Many people in Australia don't know Jesus personally. Mm-hmm. Uh, is anyone in your community trying to reach Australians as well? Um, I would say our communities, a lot of our communities are in a way, you know, <laughs> lived in a closed a community and but i can see that it and it's it's a blessing that i can see that a lot of young people now in our community who who are holding on to that faith and who you know who believes that jesus is their personal lord and savior and now want to um spread to the wider community and and that's what the aim for our churches as well and that's what it should be i believe yeah awesome mm-hmm. so you've really got an outreach uh, mm-hmm. focus and let me ask you um how has vision christian mm-hmm. radio helped your community as well. Mhm. That's a great question. I love this. And because I'd say a vision myself um when I was introduced to um vision in 2019, um I just heard it through um my uncle just playing uh, just playing vision radio on his car and I was just listening to uh, listening to it and yeah and then I, I could relate to a lot of the things that a lot of the topics that were talked about and since then um I've shared the news um you know that vision it has got so many important um topics and where we can relate as well and it helps it helps me and then I believe that it helps you as well so that's what I've been trying to do as well and especially because vision it is in english so a lot of the yeah, it's going to be targeted to a lot of the uh, young people a uh, youth in in the community um so yeah so and yeah i think um the stories that are shared in vision um the sermons that we can listen um every evening um and yeah testimony you get to hear from other people and yeah i think through that um it really puts you in ground and yeah and helps you uh, grow with things that things that you might not have to- um thought about but Uh, it widens your perspective. Yeah. So as someone new to Australia, it sounds to me like you're getting spiritual encouragement through vision. Yes. But you're also getting some English lessons as well. <laughs> you're, uh, you're you're hearing the word of God taught in English and mm-hmm. the and the announcers and mm-hmm. the and the music. Mm-hmm. But we've heard this from other people who've migrated to Australia mm-hmm. that they just find vision is just one of the connection points mm-hmm. into Australian society as mm-hmm. well. Being new to Australia. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'll say, yeah, especially it's so important, and I. believe that our vision can play a wider role as well because especially with the newly arrivals as well and let's say from the Burmese communities the newly arrivals um i think that um vision can in a way um if there could be other ways where um it could be catered to you know we know the language barrier is there but if there could be ways where that could be um worked i guess yeah absolutely mm-hmm. now burma is a country that I I first read about Burma years ago because mm-hmm. I think one of the first if not the first American missionaries mm-hmm. ever sent outside of America he went to Burma mm-hmm. his name was Adoram Judson mm-hmm. and he spent 50 years there on and off and he mm-hmm. really suffered for the gospel he spent years in mm-hmm. prison he was really rejected um overall he only had a handful of converts at the end of his life it was just an example of just suffering and perseverance mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. just this tenacious faith that he just mm-hmm. wouldn't let go and really a seed sown mm-hmm. in your nation and so for me it's really encouraging to talk to you today and hear your story about your faith community because mm-hmm. your faith community believe it or not is a descendant of Adoram yes. Judson of the labors that he did for the Lord mm-hmm. so many years ago and he really suffered he took his family there mm-hmm. but here we are today we've got some beautiful uh, Christian people from Burma mm-hmm. worshiping God in Australia and listening to vision mm-hmm. but have you got a, a something else on your heart you just want to share with our listeners today yes i would just um i would like to highlight on the things that you just mentioned right now where uh, we talked about uh, you know especially the burmese community who resettled here as a descendant of um, judson um and that faith the seed that was uh, planted and 
even today with the current situation that is happening in Burma. I just want to highlight on that. Um, and we are we did see a lot of um, um, what is happening in Burma is that a lot of airstrikes happening to churches as well currently. And at the same time, that is not going to put people down. That's not going to put our community down because we know that um, – we, uh, that um, it's the truth. Jesus is um, the savior, and um, that's the that's the original message that came to the country, and that's what's going to be um, spread out throughout as well. And they continue to do that, and a lot of pastors and evangelists who are and missionaries who are in Burma at the at the moment are suffering, are going through pain, but um, the good news will be spread through. Are you saying that churches are being bombed by airstrikes? Yes, that's correct. That's awful. Is that from the government or from rebels fighting the government? And uh, the military junta. Wow, mm. they're bombing churches. Yes, terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm, I'm glad you let us um, made us aware of that, and uh, and we will pray. And I'd ask yes, all our listeners to to join. In fact, do you mind if if we do pray for yep. Burma right now? And then I'd ask you as someone who is new to Australia, maybe that you can pray for Australia mm-hmm. after I pray, and also pray for our listeners. But Father, mm-hmm. I pray for the church in Burma. God, you know exactly what's going on there. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you do. And I just pray you would use these people as a flame of fire, that even as you used Adoranam Judson all those years ago to share your gospel, Lord God, in the midst of hardship, use the pastors, the evangelists, the believers in Burma, Lord, just to be like a flame of fire that spreads all across that nation and that things would crumble. Yes, kingdoms would crumble, Lord God. Even this military junta would crumble, Lord, as it persecutes your church, Lord God. Let it fall away. Let it fizzle, Lord God, but let the church arise and be strong Mm, and powerful, Lord God, and worshiping and prayerful and evangelizing. And we pray for this today in Jesus' name. And uh, I'd really like you, Juan, to to pray for Australia, please. Mm -hmm. Let let us pray. Father God, we thank you for for today, and we thank you uh, for Australia, the nation. Lord, we pray that throughout Australia, a lot of, there's so many communities, there's so many cultures, so many perspectives that are around us but I pray that Lord um, you bless um, uh, Australia and then especially rise up young people who will continue to hear your word through vision as well and bless vision to so that every corner of Australia could um, can hear your good news and so that it continue to spread as well and we ask that in Jesus name I pray amen Amen. Juan, Louis, I want to thank you so much for joining us on Vision Today. This is not your last visit here either. We need to keep in touch and uh, we want to hear more about the Burmese community. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just so encouraged that you're here, that you're worshipping God here, you're Mm -hmm. seeking Him, you're praying, you're trying to evangelize a little bit in Australia Mm -hmm. as well. And we just pray God's blessing upon you, your family, your community, and all of the Burmese churches in Australia. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.